Hey guys, it's your girl Tara Crush back with another review and this time it is for the Haves and the Have Nots Season 8 Episode 2. And this one went just a little bit faster than the last one. Um, we did see Hannah really flip all the way out on Derek. Um, again, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about that. I wouldn't know... I don't know if I would know how to handle it. I don't think I would be that extreme. This is somebody that you know. First of all, you call yourself a Christian. So you got, if y'all hear that noise, that is my foot massage. I'm not taking my feet out. I'm sorry. I still got 14 minutes left. <laughs> but, I mean, you're supposed to be a Christian. So that means you're supposed to believe in forgiveness. You're supposed to believe in, you know, being saved and washing away of sins and whatnot. But you don't really live like that, Hannah. You don't live in under those same principles. And I'm not mad at that. I just want you to recognize that you are really, really hypocritical when it comes to that. Um, because this is somebody that you got to know. This is somebody that was referred to you because he was such a gentleman around another woman. So you know he's changed. It's not anything that you have to even question because you had him in your bed and he didn't try nothing. So all of this, I'm I'm going to pull a knife on you. I'm going to call the police on you. All of that to me is just like extra and uncalled for. You are a grown woman. You know this man ain't going to do nothing to you because you wouldn't have had him over your house all them times and you would not have had him in your bed. But Hannah got to be Hannah, you know. And, you know, she called the police. He go to jail. She don't care. She walking on in the house. That's, that's just the evil. Evil. And you know how they be doing us, Hannah. You know how police be doing black men just whatever. And that's your baby daddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope Candace is okay with you doing that. But, um, who we still did not see. Um, let's see. We did see Jeffrey, Jeffrey and Madison, you know, they're seeing each other kind of heavy now and they're liking each other and whatnot. Um, uh, making jokes back and forth. And, you know, Madison really thinks that you know, Kobe is like a bigger bitch than Veronica, but I just don't think he's really of where what Veronica is capable of. I really don't. Um, we did see Hannah. Mm, she ain't had her, her meeting yet. She's supposed to be going to see Catherine to see what to do about the estate or whatnot. She did not invite dude over. I'm like, dude, you're crazy. He's going to help you. He's going to walk you through all of that. Um, Jim gets out of the hospital, of course, runs into his child and Celine. Celine gets called in the office, basically gets a warning from when David, one of her fired, talking about don't harass the patient no more. And she never really said anything, but David, one of her fired. So they had to give her a warning and she's about to get her 50,000. Jim just don't know. I don't know where she's going to get it from because Jim ain't got no money. And, um, that would be something that Hannah would have to actually issue so i don't know where she's gonna get this fifty uh thousand from because he ain't got no access to it so veronica was wrong with that one thinking she was going to get him but um and he goes to see wyatt wyatt's a piece of crap as usual he's fake and talking about he's sorry just send me to rehab and and whatnot and and don't you know don't do it dad and i love you and blah 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 he's he's, he's for self he, he don't really mean it because he basically told Jeffrey when he got there, you know, I'm playing it, playing the victim, you know, asking him to send me to rehab. And once I'm there, I'm done with him. You know, I don't want to hear for him. I really wish he died. You know, and then Jeffrey was basically like, oh, okay, I see you haven't changed at all. And Jeffrey was only there because his dad asked him to go. And the only reason why his dad asked him to go is because Jim asked him to ask him to go. <laughs> so it looks like Jeffrey's love for Wyatt is done. Um, he's out of there. He said, you need to, she told him he needed to straighten up. He was like, no, actually I don't. I've been enjoying a whole lot of it with the curve. Hmm. <laughs> That's disgusting. Get out of here. Yeah. Well, you've, you've been in the life too, bro. No. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But you know, I just don't think it's, I don't like homophobia. I don't like that at all. So if you're that character, then I'm probably not going to like you very much, but I really do wish, you know, if the season, in, if the series is ending, I don't want to see Wyatt living. He hasn't done anything to make me like him at all throughout this whole series. He should not be able to survive the end of this series. He needs to die. He just needs to die. I'm sorry. And that's about it for this episode. I'm about to watch episode three. It is my $5.02. Peace.